What's up everyone, Raphael here, Apple Address, Addressing All Things Apple Inc. Finally, Studio Display, Mac Studio, got a few accessories here. Going to do a quick unboxing and a quick review of the display and the Mac Studio. <laughs> display ah, so satisfying all right I'm pretty sure you've seen this all on YouTube nice there it is let me move the box Apple and their unboxing experience is second to none. Here we have it, studio display. All of the I.O. on the back here. We'll go over those in a second. Pull tab. All right, nice. All right, so flat. Now, this is Apple's first. This is the first of its kind, first computer. Mac Studio brand new so as you see you have the arrows there explaining how to open the box of course you have the documentation here there should be some stickers here oh yeah Perforated 
cooling in the back. All the I.O. Thunderbolts, four Thunderbolts. You have the Ethernet. You have the USB A's, HDMI, high impedance headphones, power button, and the power supply. Then of course on the front, this is the base model. So USB-C SD card slot. All right guys, next up, studio display. So just a quick story as I open this, but first pull tab. Love that. Love opening new products. All right, so, okay. This is the front. The box, get the box out of the way. All right, so. As you can see, studio display, you're looking at the back, right? Got the ports there, one Thunderbolt port, and the rest are USB-C. Of course, you have the side views, and then the front. All right, the pull tab is here in the back. All right, so it took a journey to get this display. So I have my order in for the height and adjustable. Yes, I was the one of those idiots who wanted to get the height and adjustable stand because I did not care about the price. I wanted that because I wanted this to be my mini pro display XDR, right? But waited 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 the shipment was pushed back i purchased my display through best buy apple their dates were further back so when my date showed up and i got the email notification that sorry not ready gonna push the display back i was like oh my god what so i said you know what let me save some money I can use that money towards something else. Let me just get the base model, right? The $1599, the $1600 model with the regular stand. Soon as I canceled my previous order, went ahead and purchased the base model. Bam, delivery, you know, within a few days. So this, was supposed to be delivered to my house today i'm recording this on saturday on monday so i saw that hey the display is at your nearest U, uh, ups facility i said you know what i live right around the corner let me just go to the facility and grab it i don't want to wait till monday i've been waiting for forever so here we are all right that's the background so Try to open this without move some things around here. the display I went ahead and bought the longer Thunderbolt 4 cable because I didn't know I did not read the description on Apple's website 
where they have the section where it says what's in the box, right? And it tells you what's in the box. If I would have read that, then I would have known that the display also comes with the Thunderbolt 4 cable, right? Which is not very long. All right, so let me grab the one I bought. Let's unbox that real quick. This is the 1.8 meters. Let's do a quick comparison. Right. First of all, the braided cables are just, man, just outstanding. All right, so, yes.
love that keyboard, but I am willing to use this over that. And I'll probably do a review later, so make sure you subscribe and check me out for that. But that's the keyboard. Also comes with a very nice braided cable for charging. All right, last item on the list. I had to do it. it I mean, I'm late on this product, but you know, I want to keep the display clean. So this is a quick unboxing of the polishing cloth. 20 bucks for this, right? There it is. Nice embossed Apple logo on there. And documentation telling you how to use it, what chemicals to use or not to use on this. There it is. Very nice. Very nice though. Now, for 20 bucks, this should be bigger than this. I didn't realize how small this polishing cloth is. But that's it. Nothing else in the box. So, the next thing to do is to set up the Mac Studio. I'm going to do the migration assistant feature that Apple provides when you want to take all your data from one computer and put it on the other computer. So I'm gonna be doing that. Who knows how long that will take. And once I have everything set up, I'll be back. Okay, so here's a quick comparison of the 2020 iMac and the Studio Display. So basically, the 2020 iMac is a little taller, but it's due to the bezels and the chin. And the studio display is just basically all screen with a minor, minor decrease in the bezels, but the bezels still in my opinion look way better than compared to this now some people still think that the studio display bezels are still chunky still bigger but hey in my opinion it still looks good one last thing I will say about the 2020 iMac I am gonna miss it I'm trading it in for the Mac studio and it served this purpose it's a machine that is undeniable once you see it you know exactly what it is has such an iconic design and features and I'm really gonna miss this machine and it's on to big and better things with the studio display and the new machine the Mac studio All right, everyone, it's day two. Last night, yesterday, was all about migrating all of the data and the files and the information from my 2020 iMac to the Mac Studio. That took basically all evening, all night. Um, and then getting the iMac ready, wiping everything from that to be able to ship that back to Apple. But it's day two. And so far, everything's awesome. Um, just wanna give you a quick listen, hopefully, to the sound, the speakers. Hopefully you'll be able to hear how loud they are. It's at max volume. not bad fills the room you can if you're a video editor I'm pretty sure you can edit off this oh yeah it sounds pretty good all right so the webcam 
the web the webcam is even with light in the room you know it's I'll, I'll show you a little b-roll there of the of the webcam it's it's not that good you know it could be better hopefully Apple will provide us with the update to the webcam and hopefully that gets a lot better because as of right now it's it doesn't look that well kind of compared it to the 2020 iMac last night and um, it it doesn't it's not I don't know other than that you know um, I'm not real big on Geekbench I'm not a Geekbench data type person when it comes to these machines but I went ahead downloaded Geekbench and took a look at the scores on the 2020 iMac as well as the Mac Studio just to compare just to see you know the performance and the iMac had a single core score of 968 and a multi-core score of 4910 right then as for the Mac Studio single core score of 1774 and a multi-core score of 12 546 so huge performance boost in both single core and multi-score for the Mac Studio as it relates to the 2020 iMac so other than that guys you know um, I'm interested to edit this video in Final Cut Pro on Apple Silicon I haven't done that I've been using you know iMovie and Final Cut Pro with the 2020 iMac on you know Intel chips so it's gonna be interesting to see the performance there uh, scrubbing the videos adding layers adding you know different sounds and also the export how fast that would be so looking forward to that the fans you can hear them it's quiet in this room. I have the AC turned off, TV turned off, no noise. You can kind of hear the fans. They're not loud, but you can hear them. They've been running even yesterday, I noticed, when you know this thing hasn't been turned off since you know I plugged it in. And once you plug it in, you can kind of hear the fans going, right? So the fans are noticeable but not loud right now I love the display love it has a very small footprint right the 2020 iMac it you know big bezels big chin the height is very you know it, it's high and sitting here in my office in my chair my flat screen is on the wall and when I sit I can see the, the height of the iMac is just right, right at the bottom of the TV screen, right? It's not blocking the screen. There's a lot of space, a couple of inches between the 2020 iMac and the studio display. So if that bothers you, you could get a riser, right? I'm gonna get a nice platform, nice riser to put here so I can give the monitor just a little more height but other than that it's beautiful the back is beautiful walking into the room seeing this setup it's very nice very sleek very clean very minimal well guys that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe like the video come back for more hopefully i can get together a week review or a month review with the Mac Studio and the Studio Display. Take care, everyone. Peace out.